Federico Tomasetti made a nice video showing how to show the contents of a file in line in a domain-specific language in JetBrains MPS. So I thought I'd do the same now in MetaEdit Plus. So I'm going to take an existing language or watch application language and in there, in addition to the existing object types, I'm going to add a new one that we'll call file. And that's going to need one property. We can call that file2. It's just a string and we'll use an external element widget to pick that up. So it's added to the language. Let's give it a let's give it a symbol as well. The symbol is just going to be text basically. And all we need to do is tell MetaEdit to run a generator to find the, the contents of that file. So we have the ask say file name and ask for the file property and read that file. We'll turn off word wrap on the text so we don't word wrap our lines and we'll make the actual box have a, a line and fill around it. Okay, that'll do for starters. We can save that language and we can go and look at a here's a test instance of it. So now if I put my file object in the picture. We can pick up a file. I'll just use a simple C file I've got here. And there you go. Displayed nicely inside the graphical language. If we want to improve how it's displayed, then we can change the definition here of that generator. For instance, Federico had line numbers. So let's, let's do that. I can grab the contents of that file into a variable called lines and ask MetaEdit to iterate over the lines and we'll ask it to output a line index or we'll make that increment and then a tab then the line itself and then a new line to get to the next one and we could make a, that formatted a little more nicely by making the, the line number a different colour, say green, and maybe with a background colour of a light yellow. So now we can see we've got line numbers straight away in here in MetaEdit. I'm not sure how useful it is to display the file in there, but one interesting application could be to see code generated from a graphical model, what the actual code is going to look like. So we could actually look at an existing model here. Here, for instance, is that actual simple model from which that C file was generated. So I'll just scroll over a bit to give myself room on this screen. And now I can put a, an object in here. I won't give it a file name because we're not going to read the file now. We're going to grab it straight from there. You can see an error there because the file empty file doesn't exist. And let's edit the definition now so that instead of getting the lines to display from a file name we can run a sub report and you can see the list of reports we've got here a generator for code there's one there called c state machine so i'll just use that so now we're going to run a generator display the lines with the line numbers and you can see there that initially of course it's going to be the same code as i had in the c file but you can see there, edit hours is this edit hours object, edit minutes is edit minutes. If I delete the edit hours object, then you can see that straight away the textual display here updates as well. Okay, well thanks for watching, and if you want to play around with some of this stuff yourself, feel free to go along to metacase.com and grab your own MetaEdit Plus to try.